for Great Britain and also University of Florida in the United States. I'm a Senna and I'm 21. Okay, and where, where did you first start playing? I started playing in a, a club in London um, called Harrogate Angels and I've started around 14, 15. Okay. So not that long. And how long have you been out in the States for? Um, this will be my fifth year. I did three years of high school and this is my third year in uni. How do you find it compares to uh, the UK? Um, it's a different type of game, you know, here it's more motion and movement and stuff and um, in the United States it's more like position wise, like 5, 4, 3, everyone stays to that. Yeah. It, where here it's kind of more uh, free flowing. Kind yeah, of. and uh, how long have you been involved with the GD South now? This is my second year. I'm the baby of the group, so... And how, how do you find it? Oh, really good, really good. I'm just trying to take it all in. Um, there's a lot of um, experienced girls who've been in the... The, um, the playing for the team for a long time and in other leagues, so I'm just tr really trying to suck them dry and really trying to just learn and absorb as much as I can. Yeah. And if you were to look back to last year, um, what would you say the big differences are between last year and this year? Um, well, well, there's new faces, you know, um, not really a couple of new offenses, but nothing new, you know, comes the same, still tells you what you're doing wrong and, yeah. you know, kicked your butt, but <laughs> so it's not that. Nothing really changed. And how are, how are the preparations going? Like how's training camp been? Pretty tough. You know, um, this year's longer. Um, it's we're in, coming into our second month, so it's kind of a bit of a strain on your body trying to keep healthy and stay on top of things. So definitely difficult from last year. It was shorter. The camp was shorter. Yeah. And your is your body coping well with that? Pretty much. I mean, it's a lot of ice baths and you know massages and yeah. just trying to stay on top of it. When you don't stay on top of it, that's when it starts to ache and niggle yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, when, you sort of, when you talk about your own individual preparation for games, mm -hmm. uh, do you have a specific routine? Oh, um, I eat a bag of sweets before I play. Yeah, what, what kind of sweets? <laughs> um, whatever I got. <laughs> bag of sweets. I usually listen to some music on the way in, yeah. but not once I'm here. Okay. It's like I take it out and just like focus. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of relax and don't think too much because then that's when it goes wrong. Yeah. So just really relaxed. Have you, is there, there any of your teammates with any particular uh, sort of Rituals. weird ritual routine? No, I, well, I haven't really noticed any. No? We haven't played that, we've only played in Bulgaria. Yeah, of course. But I'll look out for you. Okay, so, for next about that, yeah. And how was Bulgaria? Oh, it was great. It was a new experience. Um, we played well. We lost the first game and then um, and we and we won the third and then the second game was just like some scrimmage situations. Yeah. So it was really, you know, another. it's nice to play another team and after a month of playing each other it's really really nice to play somebody else. It's like, we can't wait for this weekend we play Portugal. So. Yeah. And how are you feeling about the team uh, come August? I mean, you feeling good about your chances? Yeah, pretty good, you know, but we still have a lot of work to do and that's why it's so good to get these test matches in to see, you know, where, what's going wrong, what's going right, what looks good and um, what we can change. So yeah. that's what's really important right now. I'm Z and you should bet British basketball. Ha, 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 ha.